Hey everybody. So it's June 6th and it's been, I don't know, uh, two weeks since I've been, or since I put up a video. Um, I did check the hives last week and so to recap, the last video I did, I removed a queen or a, a swarm cup. And then I went back, oh, the smoker. <laughs> Where is it at? That thing is getting me right now. <clears throat> Anyways, whoo's this? Let me move out of the way. The wind of that thing. So, yeah. Um, where was I? So, yeah, removal of the queen cup in the last video. Then I went back in a week later, did an inspection of uh, the hives, and that's the, um, the new hive video that you saw. I did, I inspected the other hive the same day, the Saskatraz beehive. But I didn't post anything because it really was uneventful. There was two queen cells in the hive after removing the queen cup or the swarm cup. So I really don't know what they're trying to do. There was eggs in the hive. There's an active queen in there. <sighs> it's just a little confusing at this point. So I need to go back in. I need to see what's going on. I haven't seen a queen in either hive for the last three weeks. So I need to take my time and find a queen today and just check to make sure that they're not still trying to swarm or supersede my queen or whatever they're trying to do, but just basic checkup. And just see how they're how they're doing. Quite a bit of comb up here. Nothing on these two. Nothing on this one. Here we go. Some comb on this one. Let's take a look and see what they've been doing. Okay. So brood in there. Little brood. And where were those uh drone cells at and I saw yeah just blow on them and they hightail it out of there. I saw that on somebody's video the other day. Maybe they're on the back side. Where are those drone cells? Oh yeah here we are. So 
No. You can see this isn't just isn't a good angle for you to see. They're right there. Can't see them, huh? So if you look from the side, I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but they're elevated. They're right there. Those ones right there. Yeah, there's ants in here, and I think that they're devastating this hive. I mean, look at that. I think they just killed all this brood in here. Yep, that's all dead. Dead larva, dead brood, it's completely light. There's nothing in it. I think this hive is, this hive is gone. There is nothing in here. The ants have gotten it all. There's no bees in here. This this hive was loaded with bees last week and there's no bees in it at whatsoever. These might just be my bees trying to just to take the How disappointing is that? How much damage can ants really do? I mean, this thing was chock-a-block full. Now we just got this little cluster right there and a little cluster right here. So I'm gonna stop inspection of this hive and end these ants right now. All right, we're back out here the next day. So I put the sugar water on this for food for the bees. And of course, would we get trail of ants? Plus they're still going into the hive. So we just need to rectify this whole entire situation. All right, so we're gonna get back in here. We're gonna get rid of this and put this somewhere else, like over here, because we don't need this sugar water mess with all these stinking ants on it, all right? The next thing we gotta do is we gotta move this hive. It's too close. I am going to be painting these. So the hives are sitting on these two four by fours, and I'm gonna be painting them with purpose grease which I saw online people used it it's not great for the bees but honestly neither is diatomaceous earth so uh, that's the plan but I got to move this hive over so I can get in there and paint that so let's get that done right now just set this camera down six inches is probably a little farther than I'm supposed to move it. I also wanted to look back inside of it to see if it's gonna even be worth moving. See if I got a queen in here or not. So I definitely have ants in here. So Uh, I brought the hive tool. These are so light. Oh, there's pollen in there. There's just... Yeah, I think this hive is dead. Pretty sure it's dead. 
I see a bunch of dead bees in the bottom. Looking to see if I could see a queen bee in here anywhere. But I think she just abandoned the hive. Just straight left. Let me make sure that there's no queen bee down here on any of this. Look at that. Bees trying to come out of there. Poor bee. Nothing. Just nothing. Yeah, this colony is gone. Done. Donezo. The remainder. I mean, that's, that's not a queen right there, right? No. Yeah, she's definitely not in this box. Wow, that was just crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. Take it down for inspection. Later, just get it out of the way. How oh, sad, this was such a thriving hive. All right, well, let's get back to the task at hand. So, I wanna brush off all this diatomaceous earth. Put it over here as well. I want to move this water somewhere else. Okay. okay. Okay, just so you get the general idea, you just brush on some grease and put it all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. Just paint it all the way around and hopefully that will be an impenetrable barrier keep uh, keep the ants from coming onto this platform here where I'm going to keep my hives so unfortunately my hive was a total loss there was a lot of bees in here I don't know where they all went to Maybe they swarmed and took off. Said the heck with it. I don't know. So, 
Sad but true. Sad story but true story. Yeah, I think that's a drone right there. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that's a shame because some of these bee larvae are still alive, just wiggling around in there. Ants all over. Bees trying to take the pollen. These bees are just lost, confused. But it is what it is. Chalk it up as a learning lesson and move on. So I just gotta apologize in advance for the wind, but I wanted to come out here and check on the ant situation to see if my fix has fixed it. Uh, what I can tell is that this one here looks fairly good and thick, but that one over there looks like the top is just soaking in and maybe not very effective. Now there are ants on the brick right here, but I don't see anything crossing over and I don't see any ants on the hive. Uh, there's no bees in the hive either. But as long as there's no ants there, or anywhere on the hive, or anywhere walking along this wood, or underneath, which I don't see either. So, I think so far so good. Checking on this side. Yeah, pretty much the same. Probably going to have to put another coat on. Definitely going to have to keep a lot closer eye out here. But uh, my hive still looks, my original hive, still looking pretty good. The Saskatraz bees, that is. The local bees. Yeah, they pretty much kick the bucket and they're just gonna fizzle off and die with no queen in there. So, 